Hey, what's up, guys? It's KMJ and H6 Monji3, and welcome to another tutorial. Today, it's going to be on Microsoft Word 2010 again, and it's going to be on how to create a simple slash basic form in uh, Word. So let's get right into it. What we're going to do is open Microsoft Word. I've already opened it. Just go new normal page. Uh, sorry if you can hear that alarm guys but we've had power cuts around here and I can't do much about it, it's been going for a day the window is shut and hey I just can't do nothing about it alright so you've opened a new document uh, there's a number of ways you can do this but I'm going to do it just because this is the simple way so the windows go, wait press enter first to get to a new page, delete so you have a full page of enters I like to call it click a little bit down like about here insert uh, and you can go table and now we're going to do a 2 by one we're going to move the middle like cut off thing whatever you're going to call it left a bit so it's like as it would be in a form but then you're going to do it in caps and type in name so just like a real chart name and you type in your name you have to click one enter down to insert another it will do that it will do another space in between it Set another table, two by one, and when you drag it across, it will go back like that. And we're going to put surname. Click down again. Insert another table, two by one. Age. Oh, that alarm had to do it at the perfect time, didn't it? Click down again because you've already pressed enter. And then we're going to do one more thing. Let's say, let's do type in name eight. Uh, address. Okay. All right. So just gonna type in uh, some of my name, but we'll see. That's not my real surname, by the way. I'm just doing it after. I'm, uh, I am 16, by the way, and uh, I don't know. So there you go. 40, 44 toy lane. Uh, Elliot that's my name and then thing then uh, we can either start on the bottom bit or we can uh, insert another form bits but first of all we're going to click to the right bottom insert a symbol and a little C logo so we have a copyright on it make it a little bigger I'll say about that that's a decent size alright so we're getting the basic style of form then what we want to do is go to insert again, but this time we're going to use where's it gone? A text box and just a simple text box. And then we're going to drag up here. Sorry for the lag. Drag it to like a nice big box, keeping it equal. Up a bit. Okay, then we're going to put Y, and then we're going to do Control U I B, which means underline it bold it and italy italic it whatever it's called and they're going to undo it by undoing it by holding control and clicking b i and u and then we're going to hold shift and press the number that's next to your zero i don't know where it is on your keyboards or wherever you use different keyboards if you use this keyboard and that keyboard but normal keyboard on the top is the under like you know what an underscore is get the underscore and then to speed that up you can copy and paste it like this Oh, maybe not. I don't it. Uh, bonk. If you're gonna copy and paste it, I'm just I'm doing it a bit fast. Just make sure you copy like do I say like four lines and then copy and paste it like that, and you've got yourself some nice lines. Then, then here you go. You can put something at the bottom, maybe in the middle, saying so just space bars. Saying thanks, thanks for I don't know doing this. Whoops, this ah, I hate this keyboard survey. Yeah, it's a left there. And we'll underline that. And then we're gonna go up and we're gonna insert a couple of logos, like as it was your own form and design type thing. So we're gonna go to ins and we're going to go to you can even set your own picture a shape of some sort 
or we're just going to go clip art. So we're going to go for a tick and a little guy with boxes I already searched for. So we're going to go for this one, he looks happy. It will magically go to picture tools format, you want to do is warp text and click through. Ignore that for now, just make it smaller and now you can look back and all of these have realigned. You can make that as big as you want. Then we're going to add a, a tick uncaps. That alarm's so annoying. Okay, so when it loads, you're gonna put what one should we put? Let's put ah, they're not loading. Let's just put this one. So we'll click in. Ah, I suppose. And whoa, 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 whoa. That's big. All right, so we're gonna make that smaller. Uh, go to warp text. Click through again. Oh, shit, it's huge. And I'm gonna drag that up here. Even though a tick has not relevant, it's just showing you that you can insert images. And then directly in the middle, you can either insert uh, word art, actually that's what I'm going to do instead, and I'm going to do it like this, I'm going to put survey, and we're going to drag that to the middle, I'm going to get close that because I hate that bar, it pisses me off, and there we go, we have a basic, whoops, we have a basic survey form and you know you can do what with it you can change the color if you want I mean if you print it out on color you can change the color obviously of this and make more boxes and you can have like you know name another line surname another line you know instead of having it like this but it's just a basic simple form you know if you want some sort of you know design and you know you know just play about with it and see how you guys get on so I guys sorry for the alarm if you can hear it but hey uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I've got lots of other tutorials on my channel on Word and PowerPoint. If you're interested, go and check them out. And uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another tutorial.